the Department of Defense, Department of Energy, Department of Homeland Security, and some industry like uh, obviously the Japanese nuclear power industry. They are interested to have handheld, very compact gamma ray imaging devices that can tell the operator the distribution of radioactive materials and their identities. And our device is the first of this kind that can image higher energy gamma rays from, say, nuclear power plants. Uh, the reason this project has been unique because the conventional gamma ray high performance detectors require cryogenically cooled in liquid nitrogen. And our device can operate at the room temperatures. And so our device is very much more convenient, portable, and uh, can be run on batteries. When gamma rays interact with semiconductors, they produce electron hole pairs. Basically, we apply an electric field and collect electrons onto an array of pixelated anodes. And our device can measure not only how much charge collected on each anode pixels, but also can read out the drift time, which tells us the depth of interaction. So our detector, even they use single crystals, but we can know the three-dimensional positions and energy depositions of radiation interaction in our sensors, which is a unique uh, technology pioneered by our group. We have an optical camera on both sides. Each optical camera has a fisher eye lens that uh, capture more than 180 degree uh, optical images. So using both the images, we can form a four pi optical image surrounding the detector. A little a point of material inside of the, the plastic disc and it, uh, it's emitting radiation. So if we set that here, then we can overlay with the gamma ray image so that you can visualize what the gamma ray uh, source is located. In a Japanese nuclear accident, there's a lot of radioactive uh, materials contaminate the environment, and this instrument will be very useful to identify the uh, contaminants and their distribution, and will help people to clean up.